All right, panel, open up your envelope, please, and follow along with me. I, Evelyn Bartram, am a scuba diver. Last June, I experienced the thrill of my life when my partner and I dove down to the wreck of the sunken luxury liner Andrea Doria. I am the first girl ever to reach the ship since she went down in a collision off the coast of New England almost 12 years ago. Signed, Evelyn Bartram. This portion of the Tell the Truth was brought to you by Haley's M.O., regular or flavored, the laxative that's both gentle and thorough, Haley's M.O. The next portion of the Tell the Truth is brought to you by New Bowls, the delicious snack with corn plus magic. All right, panel, these three young ladies all claim to be Evelyn Bartram. Obviously, only one of them really is. We'll start the cross-examination this time with Bert Conby. Bert? Yes, well, I, uh, I had some friends on the Andre Doria when it was sunk. They got out fine. But on your next trip, I wish you'd get into compartment 12B. They had a present for me, and I never got it. That's the truth, by the way. <laughs> Not terribly amusing, but the truth. <laughs> now, uh, number three, I'd like to ask you something. I've thought about this before. What is the condition of the ship, the furniture, for instance? Uh, everything is completely covered with barnacles and little sea animals that, well, they sort of move. You've probably seen them if you've seen Lloyd Bridges' underwater show. Yes, they yes, move I... and they try to catch things that pass by. It's very hard to distinguish anything down there. I see. Number one, were there any sharks around? Because I've seen pictures of them in and out, I, th I think. Uh, I wasn't aware of any. No sharks. Number two, is it a dangerous journey? How deep is the ship now? It's 240 feet down, and there's a very strong tide. Oh, I love that. Peggy. Number three, why did you go down to the Andrea Doria? It's sort of the Mount Everest for divers. Uh, number one, how many divers have Mount Everested down there? On the trip we took, there were only 12. Oh. Well, that, number two, is two, I know nothing about scuba diving, really, but is, is, it, is 240 feet very deep? That's very deep, yeah. And, and well, number three, when you come up, do you have to come up slowly, like, you know, stage by stage, or can you really... Yes, we came up, um, my partner and I came up about, it took us about 30 minutes. There oh. are tables, though, for decompression, put out by the Navy. They, well, number... Oh. Arson. Number two, are there any treasures still aboard? Is there any reason other than the fact that it's there to go to it? There are sculptures and things that were in the living room and the dining rooms that are still down there. Yeah, well, number one, is anything worthwhile salvaging? Has there been, let me ask you this way. Has there been any salvage done off of the Android door? Technically, no. Technically, Technically, no, but a few people have gotten away with some of the silverware, right? <laughs> number three, uh, do you plan to go back again and see it? Yes, I have to go back again in June with the same crew and the same captain. And are you going to try and get something else? Well, Only as I, a souvenir or something of value? It's a little bit difficult. Maps or, or deck plans weren't available when we went down, and so we sort of just... Kitty. Number two, what season of the year did you go? We went in June. Number one, does the name Peter Gimble mean anything to you? Uh, yes, he was the first diver, I believe, to be on them. Thank you. Number three, was your find accidental? I'm sorry? Was your find of the compass accidental? Yes, or it was. It was accidental. We found the cover. And I didn't realize the compass was inside. I see. Number two, did you wear a wetsuit? Yes. And number one, where are these de decompression chambers that the Navy provide? Tables. Oh, tables, did you say? Tables? Did number three say tables? <laughs> number three, I believe, said tables. Well, what are decompression tables? I believe they're a series of numbers set up and established by the Navy. Where? In the sea? Uh, no, no, it's a chart. Oh, on land? It's a chart. A chart? And that's all we have time for, I'm sorry to say, but mark your ballots with what you have, if you will, panel. And audience, again, when I say vote, select number one, number two, or number three. Are you ready? Vote. All right, your votes have been registered. Let's see how our panel did. Bert Convey, how did you vote? Well, I didn't talk enough to number two. Number three, I think, knew too much, so... Uh... Number one, by sheer weight of numbers, uh, has it for me. Peggy. Well, I just vote for number two because she said living rooms, and I think people uh, muck about ships say saloons, as we <laughs> other people say that too. Uh, I voted for number three. She seemed to know just about everything. Of course. It's an expensive hobby. All that stuff costs money, and you got to take the time off, and number two looks like she has a buck, so I voted for her. <laughs> Kitty. Well, I voted for number one because she knew that Peter uh, Gimbel was one of the first divers who ever went down to the Andrea Doria, and it was a very exciting experience. I'm sure she had a very exciting time. Very well. We'll find out how our audience voted and meet the real Evelyn Bartram in just a minute. 
Right now, this word. What do men of medicine recommend for between meals snack hunger? Men of medicine know that between meals snack hunger is brought on by evil spirits. Look, New Bose contains the combination prescribed most by men of medicine, corn plus magic. This diagram shows how the nutritious corn and delicious magic in New Bose relieve evil spirits. Scientific proof that when your stomach talks, it's saying, I want Bose. Imagine a cake and frosting bright with natural orange flavor. It happened when Sunkist found a way to coax the natural flavor from fresh orange peel. And Betty Crocker found a way to put it in a rich, moist cake and a creamy, smooth frosting. First and only dessert mixes bright with natural Sunkist orange flavor. New Betty Crocker Sunkist orange cake and frosting mixes. When the flavor's this exciting, you can bet it's Betty Crocker. All right, let's find out right now who got the most votes from our studio audience. Our audience voted for number three. All right, let's find out immediately which one of these three young ladies, in truth, is the first girl to reach the sunken wreck of the famous Italian liner, the Andrea Doria. Will the real Evelyn Bartram please stand up? Well done, ladies, well done. Number two, what is your real name and what do you really do? I'm Phyllis Taylor and I'm a service assistant at the First National City Bank. Thank you. And number three, what is your real name and what do you do? I'm Nancy Martin. I'm the assistant travel director for Reader's Digest. Well, we thank you all very much. In checking the score, we find there were one, two, three incorrect votes. That's three times $100 or $300. Thank you for being with us. Goodbye and God bless you. We'll be back in a minute. Right now, this word. Now, the great majority of tired people don't feel that way because of iron-poor blood, and Geritol won't help them. But it is a medical fact that many of the millions of people who have iron-poor blood are tired and need Geritol. If you're tired because of iron poor blood, Geritol can help you feel stronger fast. Maybe not this fast, but fast. Some people can fall asleep anytime, any place. But if you can't sleep because of simple nervous tension or daily problems, you need Somonex for natural-like sleep. Somonex is not habit-forming. Take two tablets as directed for 100% safe sleep. Yet be alert to any emergency and wake up thoroughly refreshed. Take Somonex tonight and sleep. Oh boy, that was a good, good time as usual. Hey, let's see, your show's still bouncing along, isn't it? Yes, it's uh, Don't Drink the Water and it's still running. That's Where? a joke, like. Where? Oh, at the Morosco, <laughs> at the Morosco Theater. It's by Woody Allen, and it's fun. And Bert Convy, of course, you're still bouncing Cabaret, along still going cabaret, strong. Cabaret, I should say so. Uh, Orson, what's the status on your brother? I have a stack of dirty dishes at home, and I'm rushing home immediately. It keeps me busy. A little barack soda and the worst grind. Coming. Well, bless you all for what you do for me. See you tomorrow. Thank you, bud. See you tomorrow, too, I trust. In the meantime, don't you forget to tell the truth. Bye. This portion of To Tell the Truth was brought to you by Betty Crocker's Sun-Kissed Orange Cake and Frosting Mixer. To Tell the Truth is a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. This is Johnny Olson speaking. This program was pre-recorded.
Thank you.